definitely, like I said, I my mom is my support because she has been always been there for me, and just I just want to be better in life so I can one day help her the way she has been helping me. By striving to become a more compassionate person, Juan has touched the hearts of Zigi volunteers he's come into contact with. The first time I went to Juan's house last year in April, they didn't even have a couch yet. They didn't have much furniture, barely any chairs, just the bed in the living room, indicating that their home isn't that large that he needs to sleep in their living room. And we, ever since I got my certificate, I always have it there just displaying it so everyone that comes in, people ask me about it and I'm always like, oh yeah. So I try to tell people about CT as much as I can. At this year's award ceremony, Juan accepted the award on behalf of the previous year's scholarship recipients and wished all the other recipients well. For Tsuchi's back-to-school program, volunteers travel to downtown L.A. to shop for stationary supplies. They shop at different stores, trying to find cheap stationery that's still of good quality. This year, there are 669 Hispanic recipients from the primary schools on the West Coast. We decided to give each child stationary supplies and a choice of either a backpack or a school uniform. For high school students, we give a notebook, ruler paper, and a deck of index cards. For younger students, we give notebooks and crayons. We also wanted to give these children new shoes, so we provided vouchers for a pair of shoes of any size from the Payless Shoe Store. I'm 12 years old. I am the fourth child of all 11 kids. I got school supplies and shoes. It makes me happy to go back to school for the you know, for shoes and school supplies. Los Angeles is the second largest city in the United States. In the middle of downtown Los Angeles, there are around 8,000 homeless people living in this area. This area is known as Skid Row and takes up a few city streets. Eight years ago, Zichi volunteers came to Skid Row. Every Saturday, they provided fresh, hot homemade veggie burgers and lemon iced tea to people living on the street. Mary, a homeless woman, has become friends with Zichi volunteers and she comes to help distribute food every week. One Saturday afternoon in November, she came as usual but gave a very big surprise to Sichi volunteers. All right, young man. She decided to end her homeless life. She is going back to her hometown, Pennsylvania. You guys have all helped me make the decision going back. Because you're like, you're like the family I have here. You're my family and you always will be my family no matter when I go back east. I still will have you in my heart. I will still pray for you guys. Thank you. And I will keep you in my mind till the day I die. Because you guys have helped me out so much. You guys don't know how much you helped me out. And you'll always have a place in my heart. How is it so how they say it? I love you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys though. I'm gonna miss you guys. And you too. Night is approaching downtown Los Angeles again. We pray for those that are homeless to have sweet dreams and a place to live, just like Mary, no longer roaming the city.